Today, we are thrilled to be talking with Zach Johnston, the founder and CEO of The Spice Guy, one of the fastest growing premium spice companies in the nation. Zach will be discussing the challenges he has faced as a rapidly growing business and how specialized supplier software like Jellyfish helps him to run a more efficient and profitable company. Hi, Zach. Tell me what makes The Spice Guy unique in your industry. I think what sets us apart from other spice companies is our willingness to source out of the box ingredients uh, from all over the world. We've traveled the world, we call it time traveling, like T-H-Y-M-E, and we've gone all over the globe to find uh, not only hard to find ingredients, but some really awesome ingredients, like all of our peppercorns come from the same farm in Vietnam, or uh, we've got a tele cherry that comes specifically from that coast in India. Um, I think something else that has really set us apart from everybody else is that if you're in sales or warehousing here, uh, especially the blenders, you have to be nothing less than a sous chef before you came here. So our knowledge of food is pretty vast. Uh, how the flavors play together is something that everybody here needs to know because we need to be able to sell these unique, hard to find, sometimes hard to use ingredients to all the customers that don't even know that they want them yet. Jellyfish has a lot of different types of features. One feature that you have talked about is the ability to put your inventory in Jellyfish. Can you talk more about that? As far as inventory for the Spice Guy, how we handle our restaurant's inventory is we have a salesperson coming by every single week to check out the restaurant's uh, personal inventory, see what they have left, what they might need, what they're going to be using over the week. Um, and we used to carry around thick binders full of every single restaurant was supposed to have on hand. Something that a jellyfish has done is really like ease the pain of having that binder because all of the invoice or sorry, all of the inventory rather is uploaded into the cloud on the phone inside of the app. So all of our salespeople now are just rolling into a restaurant, opening the app, selecting the customer that they're at and being able to see exactly what they ordered last week and exactly what they're supposed to have on hand. Doing that allows you to change the way that you're taking orders. In the past, you talked about a heavy reliance on texting. What's the difference between jellyfish and receiving texts throughout the day? The main difference of jellyfish versus a texting platform for ordering is that for one, my phone would start buzzing at 4.30 in the morning with the USDA meat production plants and it wouldn't stop buzzing until midnight with all of the restaurants and sometimes even later. I've taken calls at two or three in the morning. Uh, hopefully I've ignored them but my phone constantly ringing all day, uh, not only with, with orders, but also with questions. Um, you know, it, it gets to be a bit much. It's hard to get anything done. So the beauty of Jellyfish is that all of these orders go into one central location, and when I have time to sit down and put them in, I can do it all at once, and nothing really gets buried in my text box. I can't tell you how many orders I've almost missed by saying, oh, I put that in in a second, something comes up, next thing you know, it's three days later and you need to get that order out today and you've forgotten that it even exists until five minutes ago. Once you get the orders, Jellyfish has the ability to approve the orders and send status updates back to the customers. Is that valuable? It's a wonderful thing not having to text somebody back every single time immediately. Because if I text you and ask you, hey, a question and I don't hear back from you for three hours, I might text you again and again and again. And despite the fact that you're busy, I have no idea what's going on with you. So I'm just sitting here waiting, wondering if you ever got that order. Uh, with Jellyfish being able to approve it and have status updates like, hey, this is sent or this is on its way for delivery has been really great um, because the clients can just go and say, or they get a notification rather that just says your order has been approved, ship date is normal, everything's good. One of the areas that I think is pretty cool with Jellyfish is that it provides visibility and accountability of what is on an order. And you are always on the same page with customers about what they are going to receive. How has that changed the way you're doing business? In terms of how orders are coming into you, um, via, when they're coming via text or via phone call, sometimes we're driving, we're in the middle of something, we're driving a forklift, we're putting an order together, we're having a meeting. Um, to get a text and have maybe, you know, Siri texted wrong a 10 instead of a 15 or an 80 instead of a 16, uh, whatever the case may be, there's no more fat fingering, there's no more mistakes. It's all, this is the item, 
this is the quantity I need, and it's very clear, very cut and dry. And if a customer has a question about, hey, I thought I ordered three of these, it's very simple for them to go into their order history and see that they, in fact, only ordered two when they perhaps should have ordered three, but sort of takes a little bit of the pressure off the supplier to, to keep things perfect every single time in a weird situation. Are you able to collaborate with your customers on what they're going to be ordering? In terms of collaboration for the orders, I think that Jellyfish has been really great. Uh, just even yesterday, we had a, a guy submit an order. There was something that was a little bit off, not something that they normally order. So inside of the app, I sent him a message saying, hey, was this on purpose? Uh, he, in fact, did select the wrong item. So we got that fixed, and we got it fixed before the order went out. And so the delivery person to take the correct item. The Spice Guy is not losing money by re-delivering an item that should have been on the initial delivery, and the customer is uh, benefiting as well because he's not waiting around for something that he thought he was going to have. Talking about money, since you started using Jellyfish with your customers, how has it made a difference for you from a profitability standpoint? Profitability, a lot of it goes back to the previous question of are we delivering what the customer thinks that they're getting? Oftentimes people aren't putting weights, quantities, sizes into the text order because it's just so easy to nonchalant send a text, hey, can you send me black pepper? We have six different sizes of black pepper here and all of those uh, mesh sizes of pepper have three sizes associated with them. So that's 18 options for me to choose from of what you had. Having almost a thousand clients, we can't quite remember what every single client gets in terms of black pepper, uh, size-wise and mesh size. So we, you know, this has been extremely profitable because we're delivering the right thing at the right time, uh, not losing any money, <laughs> re-delivering an item that that we should have had right in the first place. Um, the other part of it is that it's saved tons of time going back and forth with the customer about what it is that they want. Everything is so cut and dry because they have their site order, or they have their site catalog, rather, uh, inside of the app, so they can select instantly what they need uh, and from previous orders only, so they're never going to get a random item if they're putting their order in the correct way. You talked about saving time. Can you discuss this and provide some metrics about how much time you think Jellyfish is saving you per week, maybe per customer? or in general compared to your past methods of handling ordering? In the past, we've taken phone call orders, email orders, text orders, texts on multiple phone number orders. Um, so to have everything centrally located uh, over the course of, or over the entire uh, longevity of all of our clients, I think it's four to five hours a week of not having to go back and forth with clients, not having to respond, hey, thanks, I got this, and then drop what I'm doing, putting it in immediately. Um, more so than the time, I think the convenience comes in. Um, you know, just like being a CEO of a, of a quickly growing business, there I'm still wearing so many hats. So at any given point, I'm not just sitting in front of my desk waiting to take an order from somebody over my phone. Um, so to have everything come in one central location and just be able to put it all in at one time uh, when it's convenient for me has been wonderful. When we talked previously, you mentioned that there was an aspect of Jellyfish that allows you and your team to unplug, finding the work-life balance that we hear so much about. Can you talk more about what Jellyfish has done for you there? Sure. So anybody that's ever been a salesperson or a supplier rep knows how impossible it is to go on vacation uh, simply because no buyer knows that you are out of the office because text messages go through all the time. Um, it's very accessible. They're not bothering anyone. I know for sure when I leave town usually to go time traveling, I have to leave my phone with a sales rep or with a uh, our director of operations, and it is by far their least favorite time of year. Not only am I not here, but my entire workload now has come onto their shoulders. And if we're being honest, we probably have 4,000 people that order from us uh, between you know over 1,000 customers. Everybody has four people doing orders. I don't have 4,000 numbers in my phone. So for people to text me from a million different area codes and uh, a sales rep or 
somebody else in our business to have to figure out who they are, what restaurant they work at, what they're talking about, what they need is an insane amount of time for them. So we resorted to just paying for international plans on our phones so that when we go time traveling, we can keep our phone and keep putting orders in and keep everything going. Having Jellyfish has allowed me to go on vacation, not even consider taking my phone and just forcing all of my customers to order through that has been, I mean, a saving grace for me. And I'm sure my wife will tell you the same thing. Let's talk about the ability for you to put your item catalog into Jellyfish. You talked a little bit ago about how customers can be restricted down to certain items that they're supposed to order, but you also have your entire item catalog in Jellyfish. Does that help you with customers finding new products? What does that do for you? Yeah, so our goal with Jellyfish is that we would be a global supplier for spices. At the moment, we're already international uh, with a few different distribution hubs around the country. Obviously, we'd love to increase those uh, customers in those new areas that we've gone into. And I think Jellyfish gives us a super easy platform to do so. Um, instead of having a sales rep go around to every single client in Nashville, Dallas, uh, Detroit, Cleveland, we have a one territory rep that sort of bounces around and goes uh, on work trips every now and then to to see customers and to check in. But the ability to have them be able to order through the app has been awesome for us just from a growth standpoint. And when you have a name like the Spice Guy, you know, there's there's moments where you sort of get pinged as just having spices, but we have so many other dry goods. Uh, you know, we're in everything from nuts and beans to oils, uh, you know, some hot sauces. We've got all kinds of shelf-stable products, and, you know, it's not like we can talk to every single customer and let them know, hey, we're unleashing this product. You should really try it. But Jellyfish gives them the ability, if they're looking for espalette, say, to see that, oh, the Spice Guy has it, I'm already a vendor or I'm already a customer of theirs, we can put that through very easily and go on to the next stage. How does Jellyfish compare to other order management systems? Here at the Spice Guy, we're always looking to gain efficiencies. We've tried to use a few other ordering apps and they've been clunky and unsuccessful. Uh, we think that, you know, for the most part, they ended up confusing our customers and we ended up not going forward with them for that reason. 